there welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review and thank you to those of you who have supported my channel by liking and subscribing your support allows me to continue to bring you fountain pen reviews as I'm unsponsored on this channel so thanks today's fountain pen was generously donated by anonymous thank you anonymous your support and donation is much appreciated whoever you are who are you who who is but the form following the function of what and what I am is a man in a mask. So let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me V. Are you like a crazy person? This is the Pilot 78G. This is not the newer Pilot 78G Plus model, but as we shall see, newer isn't always better. I will do a full review of this pen, but I'm also going to look at some Pilot tricks and treats from nib swapping to eyedroppering and comparisons with some other pilot pens, the Plumix, the Metropolitan, the Explorer, and the Falcon. By the time we're finished, you too will be a pilot 78G whiz. And no, there won't be a test. And to quote one of my students from years gone by, while I was showing my drafting class how to draw an ellipse, ooh, 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 sir, sir. Um, if it isn't on the test, why are you learning it to us? Well, that was an excellent question, George. I'm glad you asked it. Thank you. I hope you fulfilled your dream of becoming the head janitor at your high school. In the meantime, let's become Pilot 78G Wizards right now. <laughs> And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like about this fountain pen. This Pilot 78G is one of the old stock versions. Pilot withdrew this model for a while and has reissued it, calling it the Pilot 78G+. Plus. I was toying with the idea of calling this review the Pilot 78G minus, since anything that isn't new and improved has to be old and worthless. Advertising sells you things you don't need and can't afford that are overpriced and don't work. And say, don't forget to pick up your free gift. <laughs> A classic deluxe custom designer luxury prestige high quality premium select gourmet pocket flashlight. But in this case, that isn't the case. Even though I don't have the new and improved G Plus model in my hands, I can illustrate some of the main differences between old and putrid and new and shiny. There are four main changes to the new 78G Plus from this 78G. There may be further, more subtle changes, but without a new one in my hand, I can't tell. That's what she said. First, the cap. On the back of the 78G, it says Japan, whereas on the back of the 78G Plus, it says Pilot Japan. In my mind, that improves my writing experience right away, I must say. Still a pretty good picture, I must say. The second is the clip. The clip on the 78G is shorter, and the engraving of Pilot is light, where the 78G is longer, and the engraving of Pilot is bolder. I know you Pilot fans were writing in a lot to Pilot about that one. And the third is the nib. The 78G has Pilot Super Quality Japan and the size deeply engraved where the improved 78G Plus is lightly laser etched. Who doesn't prefer laser etching to deeply engraved nibs? Are they nuts? <laughs> See, that's what I thought. And finally, the converter. The 78G came with this execrable Con 20 squeeze converter, whereas the 78G Plus comes with this horrible Con 40 piston converter. So, to sum up the upgrades, Pilot improved the 78G by giving the 78G Plus an upgrade from shitty to less shitty. You're kidding! No, I am not! This is a nightmare! How will you ever make a decision? See, I don't know! What should I do? Please, Pat! These Con 20 squeeze converters come with other Pilot pens as well, uh, but Pilot recommends them for cleaning the pen with water rather than using them as ink converters. Pilot seems to make great fountain pen nibs and lousy converters. 
I'm going to suggest a merger between Schmidt and Pilot. Since Schmidt makes Schmitty nibs, but great converters, and Pilot makes pilots of Schmidt converters and excellent nibs, together they make an awesome team. What could go wrong by putting the Germans and the Japanese together? They could call their pens Messerschmitts. What is this? A rose clover in hobbies. I'm, I'm making a plane. It's a Messerschmitt. It's a nice job. Oh, Rose, there's a Messerschmitt in the kitchen. Clean it up, will you? But I kid the Germans and the Japanese, who are well known for their senses of humor. You know who pisses me off? Who's that? Uh, the guy with the hair visor? Ah, Donald Trump? Yeah, he's old and he still gets hot chicks. Well, he does have a big wallet, Ken. <laughs> Overall, this pen is very light and resembles my Pilot Falcon, actually. Although the Falcon is a full 9 grams heavier. From the top, we see a dome finial that has a... Uh, an injection molding gate right there and the finial tapers up to a gold metal band uh, which is the top of the pilot clip the pilot clip itself is a very typical pilot three faceted clip and is very flexible and very springy very usable and has pilot engraved on the tip the cap tapers up to two thin gold bands the thinner one on top and the wider one on the bottom. Then we have about four millimeters to the rounded end of the cap. There's about a millimeter and a half step down to the barrel, which is straight to about here, and then tapers down to a rounded end, which also has a larger uh, divot in it, which is another injection molding gate. The cap unscrews with one and three-quarter turns to reveal a tapering black plastic section with a small flare towards a number five size gold-plated steel nib and plastic feet. The section is a good length but very narrow. Let's get a better look at this nib. It has Pilot Super Quality Japan and B for Broad engraved into it. The nib and feed are not part of a nib collar assembly, but are friction fit and actually pull out very, very easily for swapping. This nib is marked B for broad, but there's no tippering material on this nib. Uh, so it's more like a stub. My digital calipers tell me that this is a one millimeter stub. The section unscrews to reveal a pilot cartridge but the pen came with this Pilot Con 20 squeeze converter, as I mentioned before. But I also said that the Pilot 78G Plus comes with this Con 40 converter, which will also fit into the older model 78G. The larger Con 70 converter does not fit into this pen. There is a small gap between the top of the threads and the bottom of the section that allows you to install a silicone O-ring right here if you want to eyedropper this pen. There are no metal parts in this section or in the barrel, so with a little silicone grease on these threads and an O-ring, you can eyedropper this pen very easily. The ink capacity of the pen when eyedroppered is about 3.6 milliliters. Let me show you how to do that right now. Here is a silicone O-ring from my Pen BBS parts pack that cost about eight to ten dollars on Etsy and comes with all kinds of parts, including these little silicone rings. And this is how I install the ring. I leave the cartridge in the pen and then press a sewing machine needle against it as well. And then I roll the silicone O-ring up onto the cartridge and over the needle as well. Then I just keep rolling it up and it goes over that bump and I put it in place at the top of the threads and then just pull 
the needle out. Of course, that was more difficult to do on camera than it was when I first did it, as you can see. But we're not done getting ink on ourselves in this video. The only thing is that when you put the barrel back on, one little caution is just to snug it up there, not to crank it down, because when you crank it down, that little silicone o-ring will extrude a little bit and make the cap more difficult to get on. Right now, it's just snug up against there and is not causing any problems with the capping. Now with a little bit of silicone grease right there on those threads, this pen is ready to eyedropper. Just a little dab will do you. And inside the cap, there is a small plastic cap liner. The cap posts deeply and securely and makes the pen a nice length in the hand. The cap is so light that it doesn't back weight this pen at all. In fact, there's no weight to this pen at all. Unposted, the pen is a little bit short, not uncomfortably short, but just a little bit short for me, so posting the pen is recommended. This 78G was donated by Anonymous. So please, become self-aware. But you can get the Pilot 78G Plus for around $15 to $20 US, and the older model is also available for around the same price as new old stock. I can only find these on eBay currently. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Pilot 78G with a Pilot Falcon, a Pilot Metropolitan, a Pilot Explorer, and a Pilot Plumix. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. All of these nib units, with the exception of the Falcon, are exchangeable with each other. In fact, the nib that's in my Explorer right now came from the Plumix. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a right example. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Pilot 78G and it has a broad steel stub 1.0 nib. Let's check the wetness here. As you can see this is a very wet pen. This nib is smooth now, but when I first inked this pen, the tines were misaligned and the pen was very scratchy. The good news is that these tines are very thin and flexible and were simple to align. I simply pressed on the tine that was the highest against the page and it was the one on the right. And it was very easy. I just sort of pushed it like that, just very gently. I pushed it and held it up for a few seconds and then tried it out and then pushed it a little bit more just on the angle making it go like that just briefly on the page and I kept doing that until I got it to be very very smooth this is now like glass and the ink is Pilot Namiki black. It's the cartridge black Namiki and actually this cartridge came with uh, I think it was my Metropolitan. Here are some close matches to the Pilot Namiki black from inkswatch.com and as to line variation well it's a stub so you're going to get some variation because the horizontal lines are very thin and the vertical lines are very thick but in terms of pushing it, it doesn't flex that much at all. It's very stiff. But why would you want to? These horizontal lines and the vertical lines are 0.3 millimeters and 0.7 millimeters respectively, which uh, puts them into Western 
extra extra fine to medium or broad and Japanese extra fine to broad and for our quote And for some reverse writing, well, it's very scratchy, but again, it's going to be the same thicknesses on both sides, so you wouldn't want to do that anyway. And some quick writing. That was me missing the page. The feed seems to have no difficulty keeping up. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, there are a lot of things to like about this pen. I was actually surprised by how much I liked it. Because when you first hold this pen, it feels like a pen you dragged out of the back of your junk drawer. You know, the little plastic pen from your insurance company. And to be sure, the plastic is light and prone to scratches and marks from as the pen from the junk drawer is. And the pen, and especially the section, is too small and narrow for my hands. Uh, but it might be fine for smaller hands. But it's the nib that makes all the difference in this pen and how I feel about it, especially this stub. It gives a marvelous flair to your writing. You almost can't help but have scrolly handwriting with this stub nib and it's very juicy and I like writing with it. In fact, I like the nib way more than the pen and luckily Pilot are brilliant in allowing their nibs to be swapped between models. I swapped the nib between my Pilot Plumix, which was a stub nib, uh, with my Pilot Explorer because I much prefer the Explorer in my hand than either the Plumix or the Metropolitan. I did a video on that swap uh, that I'll link in the description. But now, I like this 78G stub nib better than the one that I had on my Plumix, which is now on my Explorer. So let's hot swap it right now. I know you guys love it when I get ink on my fingers, so here goes. So here's the 78G, and here is the Explorer. The Explorer says medium on it, and this is the nib that came with the Plumix, but I've measured them both, and they're both the same size, about one millimeter stubs even though this one's marked as a broad. So let's pull this nib out. You just grip it. You just grip it by the feed and the top of the nib and pull. And it comes right out. Now, this one's going to be messier. Just grab the nib and pull it. Now I'm just going to push it right back in to the Explorer. And I'll put the Plumix nib into the 78G. There we go. Now I have the 78G nib in my Pilot Explorer. And the Pilot Explorer has my Con70 uh, converter, which is much improved to the other two converters. And I'll fill this with some ink. In fact, because this is going to be such a wet writer, we know that nib writes wet, I'm going to put some shimmering ink in this pen and so I could put anything in this pen like a Jack Frost, Kyanite Du Nepal, that's one of my favorites or how about this Happy Holidays yeah let's do that it's almost spring so we'll choose Happy Holidays I got this ink for Christmas Now it's going to have a lot of black in it because I had didn't uh, clean the pen out before I did this, but let's be bohemian. You can see how much ink I've got in it now. So now this is the Pilot Explorer 
with a Pilot 78G stub 1.0 nib and the ink is black plus happy holidays you can see how wet that's running boy that's smooth and wet I know the shimmer is going to come out of this ink I can already see it you probably can't see it I don't know whether you can see it or not from where you are but believe me I see it and there you have it thanks go out to anonymous for donating this pen and this nib to me for this video much appreciated and if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote